All right, continuing on, another integral problem. We have 2 over x to the 3 fourths minus 3 over x to the 2 thirds dx. Um, we, the first thing we're going to do is convert this to non-fractions, since fractions are difficult to deal with in an integral. The way that we're going to do that um, is by moving the denominators to the numerator and flipping the signs on these exponents here um, from positive to negative. Um, that's just a rule that you can apply. Um, I demonstrated that in previous videos. So this is going to be 2x to the negative 3 fourths. We can do that, minus 3x to the negative 2 thirds. We can do that. So that is how we convert the integral. And then um, we can integrate. So we're going to write our x down here, looking at this term. x, we add 1 to the exponent. Negative 3 fourths plus 1 is positive 1 fourth. Um, and then we're going to divide the coefficient by the new exponent, 2 over 1 fourth. Um, then we're going to do the next term. Write the x. Negative 2 thirds plus 1 is positive 1 third. And then 3, the coefficient, over the new exponent, 1 third, um, plus c to account for the constant. The only thing we have to do now is simplify uh, this new equation. Um, we want to simplify these fractions. Again, the way we do that, instead of dividing by a fraction, you can multiply by its inverse. So instead of 2 divided by 1 fourth, we can say 2 times 4 over 1. So instead of 2 over 1 fourth, that's the same thing as saying 2 times 4 over 1. The answer to that, of course, is 8. So the answer here is 8x to the 1 fourth minus 3 divided by 1 third is the same as 3 times 3 over 1. Instead of dividing by the fraction, we multiply um, and flip over the fraction. 3 times 3 over 1 is 9. So minus 9x to the 1 third plus that's our answer there.